Okay, <laughs> hi, welcome to my channel. My name is April Cherie, and I'm gonna be doing a collective haul. I have a few skincare products and makeup. So I'm gonna start with the skincare. Um, the first item I'm gonna show you is from Pacifica. And this is a face wash. So this is the Cosmic Hemp Balancing Face Wash. It cleanses and reincarnate good skin, plus hemp and amino acids. So I like to just use this in the shower. I do like two pumps and I just, you know, rub this into my face. You can use your Clarisonic if you have one, but I just, you know, do it manually with my hands and it works perfectly fine. And the next item I have from Pacifica is a face cream. This is the Cosmic Shield Hydration Lock Face Cream. It hydrate and revive with hemp and avocado. So I have those two. The next um, skincare item I have is this Tatcha, the Silk Canvas Primer. So you use this before you put on your foundation. It's like a barrier so that the foundation doesn't seep into your pores. So that's what it's good for. So I'm gonna show you how it looks. You just add that after your moisturizer and face cream. And then the next products I have are from Glam Glow. I got this from Sephora. They were like, they're like mini size, like travel size. So the first one I have is a firming cream. And it's actually a firming mask, sorry. The next one I have is a clearing treatment mask. I also have this Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment Mask. So this is for like more so dry skin. And then last I have this Super Cleanse. And this is just like a cleansing cream to like clean up your makeup, you know, like to remove your makeup. So that's what I have there. And then I have a lip product. So this is a lip scrub that I got from Sephora. It's by Bite Beauty. And this is the Agave Weekly Lip Scrub. And it looks like this. Really nice lip scrub. Okay, next, I'm gonna do lashes so i like the magnetic lashes um regular lashes are really good with like lash glue but i feel like it's more tedious to put on so the magnetic lashes will save you a lot more time they're pretty much the same thing except easier in my opinion you know you don't have to use glue it's just you know magnetic they just clip on so it's more easier but it's a bit on the pricier side they go for about maybe 12 to 15 dollars but it's worth the money because it's it just saves you the hassle. So the ones that I have on today, I have the Kiss Magnetic Lash in 02. These are what I'm wearing today. So that's what that looks like. And it does come with the applicator, but I find it more easy to just do it manually by hand. Um, when I first tried them on, it did take a bit more time to put it on, I was literally taking about 10 to 15 minutes to try to figure out how to put it on, even using the applicator. But the more you use it, the more easier it becomes. And the next ones I'm gonna show you, these are the Ardell Magnetic Lashes. I'm gonna, just gonna show you the packaging. And these are the Double Wispy ones. So they look like this. These are really pretty. These are more dramatic, so if you're gonna go like out, I recommend these, but these are pretty like more fuller. 
So, you know, if you're going to go out somewhere, these are really nice to use. Okay, so next, I got this NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone. This looks like this. And then I got a few items from the Wet n Wild um, like Zodiac collection. So I got two palettes here. The first one is in Fire. It looks like this. And I am a fire sign. I'm actually an Aries, so I had to pick that up right away. Really love that. And the next one is the eyeshadow in Earth neutral colors very pretty and then i have a few lip glosses from that line as well so i have five glosses the first one is in aries so it's like a deep purple very pretty And then I got another purple, it's more glittery. This is in Sagittarius. I love that it has like the zodiac sign at the top. It's very pretty. The next one I have is in Taurus. And this one is in Capricorn. These are very pigmented as well. And this one is in Leo. Um, I also have a eyeliner. that my sister got for me. This is in black brown. This is by NYX. Just taking the packaging off pretty really quick. So this is just simple eyeliner. And I really like this. I like um, like a brownish tone for my waterline. So this is um, black brown, so that's gonna be really nice for the waterline. And then another um, item my sister got me is this Milani Amore Matte Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Magnificent. It's very pretty purple. Then I have a few lip products from the cream or the creme shop. So I have three. I have this one is in Desert Retreat. It's very pretty. I'm just gonna take it out so you guys can kind of see the color. Very pretty color. This one's in Penny Lane. And this one is in Blush Hour. It's very pretty pink. Okay, so I got a few um, L'Oreal lip glosses. These are the infallible glosses. So I got the Pro Matte Gloss. So the first one is this one here, and this is in the shade Nude Allude, I believe. Yes, Nude Allude. This one's in the shade Forbidden Kiss.
and I have three of the Impalable Pro Gloss. So those two were the matte ones. So this one's in the shade blue. And this one's in the shade Posy. And this one's in the shade Dulce de Leche. So pretty. Okay. Okay, so I have a blush. I have this MAC blush. And this is Peachy Keen. It is a sheer tone shimmer blush. So this is going to go on very faint. But it is buildable. And it's like a blush and a highlighter. Like a two-in-one. This is very nice for women of color. Um, I really do like this. So if you don't really want to do like a blush and highlight, you could just use this. And like I said, it's a two-in-one. So you can skip like one step. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing uh, Beauty Bakery. I got a few things from Ulta. The first thing that I got are their lip whips. These are so pigmented and very, very pretty. This is in the shade Mon Cherie. So pretty. And these are very, very pigmented. And I will be having swatches of all these on my website, which is startingmakeup.com. That will be linked down below, so you can check that out if you want to see swatches of any of these products. I'll have swatches of them all. Okay, so the next item that I got is a eyeshadow palette from Beauty Bakery. This is the Breakfast in Bed eyeshadow palette. And it looks like this. Very pretty neutral color, everyday colors. And the packaging on this is so pretty. So very, it's like very detailed and very pretty. The next item that I got is this Better Not Bitter Coffee and Cocoa palette. This is a contour and highlight palette, I believe, but I'm gonna use it as a eyeshadow palette, like a blush and eyeshadow palette. I probably can use this one there as a highlight very pretty and like I said the detail of their packaging is so pretty so that's all I got of the Beauty Bakery brand next I got um, three Fenty items I got a foundation which is in 360 So it looks like this. I haven't used it yet. So pretty. I love the packaging. I love the packaging. And then I also got a matte, plush matte lipstick. So looks like this. The packaging on this is so pretty. This is in the shade Spank. So pretty. 